This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thanks so much for helping out our channel. Hello guys, this is Vedlana from Comic Cosplay and today I wanted to give you some helpful tips and tricks on how to attach armor pieces onto a body for a costume. At this point I want to mention that I got a lot of questions from you on how I personally attach my armor pieces. And since I'm a huge fan of big armor costumes, like I made uh, lately the Brigitte costume or my Neo Gigante or Alloy, I would say I have quite some experience on how to attach all these big things to my body. So I wanted to share today my personal experiences and also my personal favorite techniques and I hope it will be helpful for your own projects as well. So when I got into armor making, I actually started with a thermoplastic material called Warbler. It's very easy to work with, but the final costume piece might turn out very heavy. So this one here is a breastplate I made out of the material. For example, it weighs around 500 grams. And here is uh, one made out of EVA foam and it weighs far less. So basically, once you think about the right attachment, you also have to consider how much your costume piece weighs because you might actually need something stronger and something that works with EVA foam might be too weak for Wobbler, for example. So my favorite solution for especially heavy armor pieces was a combination of belts, which you can see here. I used for the belts here um, furniture leather, so it looks like wild leather and I really, really like the look. And then also the rings, which you can find in different sizes. So you can use them for smaller costume pieces and also bigger costume pieces. As you can see here, I used here very tiny D rings as well. So I used them here also for the shoulder armor attachment. And uh, finally, Velcro tape. And the Velcro tape here is, as you can see here, sewn onto the belt and like it goes through the steering here. So it has a very strong attachment. It's like very durable and awesome and reliable especially, so you don't want to be naked at the convention, right? But yeah, basically um, I have to mention with the Velcro tape, there are different qualities and there's one very cheap Velcro tape quality, which basically, um, yeah, like the hooks breaks after using them a few times. Uh, so they are not really good for costumes. Then there are also the industrial Velcro tape quality which is a little bit too strong because I had the ones and yeah I put them together and I was not able to separate them anymore so these were a little bit too strong and then um, these ones here uh, they are actually from my um, sewing supply store and as you can see they are coming like in very white stripes so I can cut them and like I can shape them for any armor piece I need and, like they're perfectly fine they're very durable and I love them like Velcro tape is the best and this is actually the main solution for all of my armor pieces but I will show you all the details now. So as you can see my straps here go over my shoulders to the back and and here is a cross and the reason for the cross is actually I noticed that when I'm using the straps just like a bra straight over my shoulders they were slipping down. So uh, with the cross I get additional support and the good thing is I can actually use these straps even to support uh, to attach shoulder armor pieces. This is why I have like these little D-rings as well here and this is very handy, especially if your armor choices are often quite similar. And I did like a lot of Warbler armor with, which had a breastplate, a shoulder. So I always use the same technique for most of my breastplates, but sometimes they need a little bit of adjustment. Another example is this Wonder Woman breastplate, which I made some years ago. And as you can see, I have here again some belts, but this time I don't really have a back. So the D-rings for this attachment are actually here under my armpits and the belt goes all over my back. And yeah, it's basically the same solution, but it's slightly different, but still works pretty much the same. This was the Wonder Woman breastplate. And now we are going to EVA foam armor. EVA foam armor is far more lightweight and therefore you don't need a lot of super force to hold everything up. So this breastplate is actually the breastplate from my Fallout costume, super rusty, super ugly. But yeah, it's just EVA foam. Ta-da! 
And here are the straps to hold everything onto my body. It actually consists out of two pieces, like this is the front and this is the back. And as you can see here again, I'm working with shoulder straps and also straps under my armpit. Again, they are working with simple Velcro and also some uh, D-rings again, because I just like D-rings. And yeah, here you can simply use uh, hot glue to attach everything like hot glue is absolutely amazing. I love it as well And here I just hot glued uh, the belts onto the material like onto the foam and uh, The only very important thing is that you actually have to seal the edges So put a lot of hot glue onto the edges of the straps and then you're good And I'm going to show you how I wear this in just a few seconds So again as you can see straps over the shoulders, straps under the armpits and everything is perfectly attached. I have to mention here since I'm using here EVA foam I don't need to hold up so much weight so uh, it, the attachment doesn't need to be so strong and you basically can directly hot glue in the belts onto the material and even D-rings are actually I would say optional like you know they basically give you a little bit of like a Spielraum um, uh, playroom uh, flexibility uh, when it comes to the length of your belt so you can actually make them a little bit shorter or like longer and this way you know if like if you like uh, change your weight or anything or you know like you need some additional flexibility you can use um, the rings for that but yeah you can basically also just hot glue in the belts onto the EVA foam by using a lot of hot glue and very important sealing the edges like here for example hot glued everything on and then you are fine but yeah with hot glue you just make sure everything stays there where it needs to stay and then you're good but now enough of breastplates, like I can literally talk about breastplates and all kind of attachments forever, but I thought this would be a little bit boring. But if you want to see more of that, like also how to attach shoulder pieces, for example, properly, how I do it, check out the links in the video descriptions down below, because there you can actually find several dressing up videos of a few of my costumes. For example, I made a full dressing up video with all the attachments for my Brukiti costume, for example, also for my Nergigante costume for example or Nova like all the attachments check them out you will find links in the video description down below and there you will see everything but now I wanted to show you a few different costume pieces and a few different techniques so this here is my alloy costume from Horizon Zero Dawn. You also saw the making of on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to show you, as I said, a few other armor pieces and especially still a few more Velcro tape solutions because I'm a huge fan of Velcro tape. So here, for example, is the bracer on my nice little mannequin. And as you can see, Velcro tape is also amazing for bracer attachments. It's basically just a strip of fabric sewed on some velcro tape and I can close it very easily and since it's inside the arm you don't really see it and everything holds perfectly. Also coming back to breastplates for example here are is again like here is the shoulder strap and here's also again a d-ring and the shoulder holds on again with velcro tape and plus with additional velcro tape around the arm so everything is nice and fine and uh, again i used here d-rings for additional flexibility so and for some additional inspiration i wanted to show you how i attach the shin guards here for example is the armor and again i used here some d-rings for additional flexibility and this way i can also keep everything very nice and especially the velcro tape hidden because it's actually here inside looks nice and fine and very good i would say yeah and here is midna and her attachment is actually midna midna and zelda their attachment is actually love and dog treats oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And now let's go back. As mentioned, you can see the full dressing up of this video on my YouTube channel. Check out the link in the video description down below. Now, obviously, Velcro tape also works greatly for other costume pieces. For example, this is an upper arm bracer for my upcoming bone armor from Monster Hunter. And as you can see here, I have here like all the bones. I glued them onto a piece of fabric and both ends actually have some Velcro on the inside and the outside. So I can just 
close it perfectly as you can see here put it over my arm and it stays yay and another very last velcro example i promise are actually fabric bracers you can use them for your arm and also like for your shin guards so basically you put some velcro onto a piece of fabric and after that you put the actual bracer onto this piece of fabric and I'm going to show you how this works, but Benny needs to help me here because I cannot get into my costume by myself. So, first I have to put on this, um, this is actually from my Tsinogre armor, by the way. So first I have to put on my glove, then I'm going into this bracer thing. I'm going into the bracer thing. Oh, see, I can get it into it by myself. So you see, this is my bracer thing. And then afterwards, I basically just put on the bracer with Velcro. There's also Velcro inside. And put it on magically. Ta-da! You see? And yeah, basically you can use um, these fabric bracers also for upper arm bracers like here and also actually also for shin guards like you can see an example for that in my eraser girl costume video by the way i also have a dressing up there and there i actually used like a fabric bracer for the shin guard and put like the shin guard onto the fabric bracer basically you can also just make a whole bodysuit cover it completely with velcro tape and then put like all the armor pieces onto it everywhere before we keep on going, a word from today's sponsor. Do you also struggle with sewing? Well, I do. And pattern making is the most challenging part, at least for me. So I wanted to recommend you the garment construction class from Anya Ayongchi on Skillshare. Anya is a fashion designer and project runway winner and gives an awesome introduction into draping. She shows in detail what kind of tools and materials you need, how to choose the right fabric and finally how to pin, mark and fit your patterns. It's incredibly helpful especially for those who still need some great tips and tricks on how to make perfect patterns on a dress form. Other than that, Skillshare is a huge online learning community full of inspiring classes for creative people like you and me. It offers countless hours of educational content on illustration, design photography, video editing, productivity, lifestyle and so much more. The first 1000 people to use the code in my video description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So hurry up and check out all these helpful classes. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's continue. As you can see, I'm a huge fan of Velcro tape in combination with D-rings and belts. I'm doing a lot of foam armor especially and you know, like they hold everything pretty much perfectly. And I think they're just a great solution for especially lightweight foam costumes. And yeah, as you can see, you can use them for pretty much any costume piece, which is pretty amazing. So Velcro is my personal favorite, but I still want to mention a few solutions that might be interesting for you as well. So a good alternative, especially for tight armor pieces like bracers or shin guards that go all around your leg or your arm are zippers, as you can see. Here I basically just hot glued a zipper and this is important, which can be opened at the top and the bottom um, to close everything. So basically you just uh, close the zipper and then you can easily get into it and this is Perfect. I don't use them like quite a lot, mostly because my bracers are always very bulky and massive and I mostly just can slide in my arm or leg into that. So that's fine, but for tight armor, the boys are great as well. Then we also have these snap-on buttons. They are available in different sizes and uh, I don't use them too often because I mostly work with EVA foam armor. But the thing is, when you are using Velcro for fabric costumes, for example, the Velcro might tear up your fabric because of the tiny little holes. And uh, yeah, that's a problem. And if you want to avoid that, you can actually use the snap-on buttons. Like the only thing is you need to know, um, they are mostly only good for lightweight costume pieces because for example, I use them actually 
for the attachment of my Banuk alloy costume, Banuk Amor. And yeah, like the armor pieces were just too heavy and I also didn't have a lot of flexibility to adjust like the position of them because like with the snap-on buttons, it needs to be perfectly right at the first try. And like, so basically they got loose and like my stuff felt off and I probably will replace it with Velcro. But yeah, basically snap-on buttons are great for lightweight costumes, for example, um, I use them actually in my summoner costume you also can find a dressing up video here as well and there i used plenty of snap-on buttons for all the fabric pieces then we also have these belt buckle snap-on buttons no idea how they're called but yeah basically i don't really use them too often because they're simply too big and like too massive but I know they're actually perfectly for like military liked costumes. For example, I used them in my Anthem costume simply because they were visible in the costume reference and they were basically a part of the costume. And I know also plenty of uh, um, Halo Spartan armor cosplayers, I'm using, they are using them as well simply because they are part of a costume. But I would say like in general for like a general hidden proper attachment, they are too big and this is the reason why I mostly avoid them and don't really like them that much. Yeah. Now I know you will ask me, but what about magnets? And yeah, I'm actually using magnets sometimes, but not really for uh, costume pieces I'm going to wear on my body because uh, they always fall off. Like they always fall off. Even if you use very, very small, tiny, lightweight foam pieces, they always fall off. Like for example, I used them for my mom costume on the armor on my feet and they were always falling off. It's super annoying. Probably you need a little bit of bigger magnets, but then they're like so huge, so they hold properly. But magnets are actually great for, um, uh, I'm actually used them for the Fallout the Gauss rifle. And they were perfectly to separate the props and I also keep on using them to separate props so they're perfect, ouch. Perfect there. But yeah, I wouldn't really recommend them for costumes you want to wear during the whole day because at some point you will be naked because your armor just falls off at the con. You don't want that. And finally, here is my bone armor, which I'm working right now, my fourth Monster Hunter costume. And here, for example, I used like some rivets and some bindings to attach the breastplate. And yeah, what I want to say is like, there are one million ways to attach your costume pieces to your body. And I would personally say um, a combination of EVA foam armor with Velcro tape is probably like the easiest solution. And I hope my dressing up videos and especially this video are helpful to find your very own solution, even if you might still need to experiment a little bit to figure out everything properly. But if you still need some additional help with your full armor, check out my foam armor book on comiccosplay.com. It's full of helpful tips and tricks on how to make patterns, how to make uh, foam armor, how to make attachments, how to build it, how to do all the things. And I hope everything will be helpful. And other than that, if you still have any questions like regarding to attachment or anything, you know, just leave me a comment down below. We always like, uh, Benny and I, we read like all the comments and always try to help and always also appreciate your feedback. Like maybe you want to hear something else, like maybe some other tutorials. So let us know. And yeah, if you don't know what to write, uh, just write down Corgi and join the super awesome Quirky squad and to support us with the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, that's the goal. So yeah, basically other than that, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, you can also support us on Patreon. Thanks so much for that already. And yeah, then see you very soon in the next video. Bye bye. And finally, thanks so much to our super sponsors on Patreon. And these are a backslash cosplay, Daya Sloth, Jessica Burton, Louisa Paris, Maloops, and Nico Razo164. Thanks so much for all your support. Thank you. And also, thanks a lot to all our other Patreons.